So I'm at work. It's all right. You know, nursing home. People, it's a hospital. People are here suffering, so you be kind. You just be as kind as you can to their suffering. Um, now, I always say my family was in business uh, with the Allens, and um, they didn't have kids, and they adopted Edgar Allan Poe and his sister, I guess. And um, I would sit at the table in my grandparents' house, and I could hear at the table, they would just be condescending and critical of Edgar Allan Poe doing drugs. I guess maybe they're trying to warn me and all, all my siblings that that's not a good thing to do, but anyway. So he went to college, and all of a sudden he started gambling and taking drugs. Sounds like a bipolar condition to me, you know, that was undiagnosed at the time. So we need to be less judgmental of people that have a, a chemical imbalance in their brain because you can't see it. It's like they're not limping, they're not in a wheelchair. Only their behaviors are the way to, to recognize that there's a chemistry problem in their brain. And we are getting better and better at fixing it, thank goodness. No more lobotomies, I don't think. Maybe they're, you know, around the world, it's, it's tougher. I mean, it's bad enough here in the United States. I can't imagine unrecognized countries. I, I, I have to take some medicine. I'm like, if I went out of the country and I got sick, what would happen to me? I'm not sure I want to be that there when that happens. So we, we have come a long way, but just keep in mind Edgar Allan Poe had a bipolar.